Hey, g'day legends, and thanks for tuning in. This week's video, back on the Barracy 1100 build. Like where I left you off on last video, the roof's in primer. So I've got to get it scuffed back, probably take care of a few little imperfections that I can see. And then hopefully that's all good to go. We'll get the rest of the cab, the exterior of the cab, uh, prepped up for top coat. I've got the portable spray booth there, I haven't used it yet, it's brand new, so I'm gonna set it up on the slab outside, get this thing inside, get it prepped up, and hopefully in top coat, and fit it back to the chassis. So do us a favor, grab your cup or your Caldi, kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. So like I was saying, uh, the roof I need to scuff back. We've got the sandpaper and that over there. Need to give this thing a little scuff back. I can see a few little imperfections. A um, couple of bits that have landed in the paint, maybe a few little pinholes. So like I said, I want to get this thing scuffed back. I've got some blade putty there to take care of the imperfections. Fast dry and about sand it back and some spray putty uh, if I feel that's going to help it out. And then like I was saying before, I've got the portable spray booth, uh, inflatable spray booth that I bought. A little while ago now i haven't obviously I haven't yet unwrapped it or uh, set it up and used it but plan is uh, i'm going to set it up on this slab over here and yeah do the top coat in there so i, I won't get industrial imperfections in the top coat so that's the plan move some of that stuff get that spray boost set up um yeah after this cab's prepped up but first things first yeah let's get this roof sorted out eh? right yeah so let's give this thing a scuff get it dialed in and get it prepped up for paint eh? take a second from sanding there uh, most of you out there probably know what i'm talking about <clears throat> but as you can see as i'm sanding like this over here is really smooth that surface is smoothed out but as you can see as i'm transitioning it up it's getting a bit ripply uh, so that's what they call orange peel when they're talking about paint so the idea of what i'm doing here at the moment is if i can get this this finish as smooth as possible then the top coat that goes on will be you know as smooth as it can be so that's the whole idea behind, yeah, sanding. It's not just to, to make it um, so the top coat sticks, but yeah, we want to try and get the surface as flattened out and uh, as smooth as we can. So I'm going to keep going with this roof. Yeah, get this, um, try and get this orange peel uh, got rid of. And it's probably a little bit, the orange peel is probably a little bit excessive as well because I like to put on that, um, the primer nice and thick to fill out any imperfections in the bog and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll get back into the sand then and um, see what we've got left after that, eh? So, as you can see, yeah, I spent um, most of the morning there getting this roof prepped. Really happy with it. Didn't even uh, actually have to use any of that blade putty. I've just sanded the uh, primer down and I got rid of uh, all the imperfections in it. I only had to sand through the primer in a couple of spots, but yeah. It's really, really come together, so it's going to give us a good finish. So what I'm going to do is spend the next bit of time going to get the rest of the exterior of the cab prepped up, <clears throat> sand it back, get everything ready to go to hit the thing with top coat. Like as you can see, the inside's already been done. I showed that to you on the last video. So like I said, I'll get this thing prepped up, get it on the dolly, and then I'll get the spray boost set up over there and yeah, get some painless things. So like I say. I'll get sanding and get um, the rest of the exterior set up, eh? So as you can see, we skipped ahead a fair bit in the day. Uh, it's that time of day to pack up. But what I did manage to get done, I've got the whole uh, exterior of this thing uh, scuffed back. Really happy with the finish. Um, yeah, gonna get into the thing tomorrow. Uh, it's too late today to do anything with it. It's gonna get too cold tonight anyway. So I went ahead, cleaned up the slab. I got the, 
the um, inflatable paint booth over there ready to open up. But yeah, spent all day, got this thing dialed in. Uh, like I say, we'll set that spray booth up to tomorrow in the morning, get this thing wheeled in there, prep it down, and yeah, start laying some uh, top coat on it. So it's the next day, got the uh, inflatable spray booth here uh, set up on the concrete. Obviously haven't opened it yet. So yeah, let's rip this thing open and um, yeah, get it set up. Eh? Right, yeah, so this seems to be what we're working with. I'm guessing that's yeah the main um, main part of the spray booth. <clears throat> I think they're two air pumps. I think one's to um, keep the the booth inflated. The other one's for filtration, or whatever. But. Looks like we might have some destructions here, so pop this open. That's what it's supposed to look like. So hopefully we can come close to that. I'll give this a quick read and <clears throat> start setting this thing up. She looks like when she's uh, all blown up. I guess we've got to keep that thing running to keep it inflated. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll get the cab out of the shed, get her out in here, and um, yeah, get some painless thing, eh? Pump's got to stay on for this thing to stay uh, inflated. It's not a one and done thing, so a little bit of noise there. But yeah, I'll get to um, get the tape and then we'll get the spray, eh? So we got the cab in top coat. Um, I don't think I could have picked a windier day to try and do this. And uh, the spray booth hasn't got a lot of anchor points on it, so she's been moving around a bit, been giving me the um, the heebie-jeebies. But we got got it done. Everything's all good. So it's going to let it tack off now. Once it's dry, I'll move it out in the sun and let it bake. And yeah, we'll get it back in the shed and take all the musket tape off, eh?
uh, as you can see, the calf's back in the shed. I've got the hoist lifted off the little dolly there. It's had a couple of days to dry now, so I'm, I'm not afraid to sort of move the cab around. I'm not going to damage the paint. So, like I say, got to lift it off, got the chassis cleaned off, going to move it around, slide it under the cab, and yeah, make this thing run again, eh? So let's get into it. Legends, the cab finally meets the chassis again. Oh, and it's uh, black glory there. I reckon she's looking pretty stout. The uh, the black wheels and the black paint give it a bit of a menacing look there at the minute, even though it's not not uh, complete there. But yeah, I really, really digging the look of this thing. Um, it's gonna start really coming together after, especially the rest of the panels go on, the paint, the yeah, tray gets painted, all that sort of jazz. But yeah, even just sitting that cab back on there really really liking that so yeah we're just going to button this video up here everyone i uh, got plenty of work done really happy with the results i got a buzz back to work so yeah we'll shut her off here uh if anyone's interested still got plenty of the merch got the t-shirts coffee mugs coolers hats all that jazz so hit us up and as usual if you do us a favor like comment share and subscribe i'll catch you on the next one